Hey guys, it's Postbox Pat. Welcome back to a brand new video. We're exploring all the content regarding season six. And there's been a lot of stuff going around in the community in the last 24 hours. There's some stuff which I really want to explore and break down for you guys. As always, if you guys are new around here, tap that subscribe button and don't forget to turn your notification bell on ready for season six. We've already received several teasers for season six, with the first one being the inside look to the new upcoming live event, which starts at the start of season six, which you can see on the screen. And the second teaser, which we got the other day as well, which was yesterday, which was leaked out by Xbox with the multicolor background. We explored these in the previous videos, but in today's video, we're exploring even further going over a variety of different stuff. In today's video, we've got a very special announcement to make. And as you can see, my dude post here is having his hair cut right there. And that is because we've got something really awesome. And I'm gonna show you guys exactly what that is right now. So our video today is sponsored by Manscaped and they've gone ahead and sent me a variety of different products from their cleanser right here, which you can see, which can be used on your hair and body wash, which is super, super awesome for the use in the shower. So I really did like this. Thank you so much for sending me that. As well as they've sent me the shears right here here, which can be used for a variety of different things. These can be used obviously on your nails and several other parts as well. You can see here all the different stuff that comes inside of here. You've got a nail file, a nail clipper, a grooming scissors, tweezers, and a little storage case for it as well for when you are on the go, which is super, super nice, as well as the weed whacker, which is right here, which is actually used to trim your nose and ear hair. So yeah, quite an interesting one, as well as they sent me a nice little shirt here with your balls on it as well, which is super Super awesome because their main kit they sent me right here is your balls will thank you with a fright of different stuff from deodorant to toner a shaver some boxes and a bunch of attachments as well for the shaver and the charger there in the little bag so that's really nice that they sent all this so thank you so much manscape for sponsoring today's video don't forget if you're interested in any of these products check them out down below in the description and use code postbox pat for 20 percent off on their site okay let's jump back to some of the information regarding season six as always you guys do know that sponsors do help and support the channel further so thank Thank you once again for that from Manscaped. Okay, what do we have for you guys here? Well, first off, we actually have some upcoming potential leak skins. Now, this has been going around Twitter now for the past 24 hours. I didn't want to cover it yesterday because there was some kind of controversy around it, but it looks like several other creators have covered this now. So I thought I'd put it in today's video and give you my take on it and explain exactly are these going to be skins or not. So people are saying that these are going to be season six skins, but from my take on this and looking into these skins a little bit further, they've been up now for eight or so days on Twitter and I think these are scrap skins in the past. If you actually look closely at the skins, it looks like they've taken elements from several of these and put them on other skins. For example, the genie on the right side looks similar to Graf G. We've also got one on the left that looks similar to one in game. I can't remember her name. And a few others as well. You can even look on the third skin along from the right, the guy in the puffer jacket, he's got like a ghost logo on his arm, which kind of tells me that these were made around chapter two, season one, season two era. And probably that is where these were made and they were just never added to the game. Then again, some of these are really cool and would definitely make awesome skins but i don't expect any of these to be in the season six battle pass potentially we could see one or two similar ones in the future with kind of a remix design on like i guess a remix version of them i don't think you'll see these exact silhouettes for the skin but there's your overview on that now also the art company which also posted this out as a tweet also then posted something really interesting on their background. So you can see this is their website right here. And on there it says game art and uh, game art and development studio. And they have something really interesting in the background, this kind of floating island. Now, if we take a little look at this image a little bit closer, you can see kind of something exploding in the background. And it almost looks similar to Kevin or even the zero point if we zoom right in. So I wonder if the zero point is going to explode and add in kind of floating islands and new realms inside of this update. We saw a floating island back in the original chapter one, season six, when Kevin came out of the ground. And I'm wondering if we're gonna see a similar thing this season but with a revamp, a different design. I imagine a floating island with the zero point having like an island around it, which is reinforcing it and keeping it stabilized. Something like that at the end of the event, would, at the end of the event with like, obviously the seven and stuff would be really cool to see how that would be uh, added in with the live event, which we're gonna get. So yeah, the live event is gonna kind of sync in with the map changes, I'm guessing whatever happens in that will sync in with the season six of map there will be an option probably to skip that event as well so if you've already watched it online on youtube or on a stream before you've got the update or before you've logged into fortnite you should be able to skip it i think i don't think you have to play through it so that's a good thing as well i don't think it's going to be like a massive event that you're going to want to like watch over and over
other, but I don't know. I can't guarantee it. It definitely is exciting, though. I can't wait to stream it for you guys. Hopefully, it all goes really well and works out for everyone, and it is a really nice little story quest. I hope it's a little bit longer than kind of 10 minutes. I suspect that it might be like a 20, 30 minute one, but I don't know 100%. I can't guarantee it. I'll have to wait and see how that's all going to play out, and I will, again, summarize everything with the storyline when that does happen for you guys. So that's big news. We also had some other stuff as well come in from several people with some apparently Twitter and Instagram leaks. So I think this was on Instagram. This is on Fortnite's story. And you can see this is what they've got. Fortnite season 6, 16th of the third. We know that's the day, obviously 2021. With again, these kind of like rip designs on the background in the corners and that. So kind of hints to me that maybe wolves could be an item that you could drive or an animal that you could control or something. I don't know if it would be an item. It could be an item possible. You don't know 100% if it would be a mythic ability or not. So I'll have to wait and see how that's going to be. Some sort of creature, I'm guessing, that you'd be able to control, which would be so awesome. As I was editing this video, I realized the sound of the portals connected Connecting to the zero point has changed slightly as it's developed. Check it out right now, it's pretty awesome. It's on screen, you can hear it in the background. Wow, this is crazy. The event is just around the corner, guys. I cannot wait. All right, let's see what else we've got as well. So on Twitter, this one's going around as well. I saw this is a concept here from Fitzy Leaks. You can see he said here, zero crisis. It was just a concept. Uh, I thought it was cool. I did like, again, that little remix on that. And also this one going around, which I believe is fake, but again, same sort of idea with the Zero Crisis as well. This is like a PlayStation hint as well. I think that's possibly what the season might be called, Zero Crisis, or it may not be called that. And maybe something to do with like Darkness Falls or something like that. You know, like we had Darkness Rises for season uh, six the original maybe darkness falls or something similar like that with the cube element and stuff like that i do think we will expect that this season considering what was in the season five trailer i do think the dark element will make a return this season in some sort of form maybe not kevin but a different life form maybe a circle or a pyramid or just a different shape in general i do believe that that could be a possibility now moving on a little bit forward from this we do have something interesting coming in from the fortnite trello i thought this was a really cool topic so you know that the entries in the collection book for the bosses have 43 and 44 people have been saying like where are these i can't find these extra bosses i can't complete my book well on the fortnite trailer they actually blame this on the zero point workaround blame the zero point so i thought that was kind of a little easter egg and something i put in today's video for you guys i thought it was really cool just you know two kind of bosses that aren't on the collection but but could this hint towards maybe something in season six like if gold bars still are in next season which is a possibility if gold bars are still in with a revamp of the npcs around the map with new ones and stuff i wonder if we'll get these extra kind of two or maybe if we have all the same npcs we've currently got which i don't expect i don't expect mando or the predator to be on the map next season i suspect that we will get new npcs and possibly new mythical items or maybe no mythical items and just exotic weapons we'll have to wait and see how that's going to turn out but i'm excited to see what's going to happen with the NPC structure in the world of Fortnite. It's definitely something quite crucial and key. I may even suspect that Agent Jones will have his own kind of, I guess, words or lines in the game where you could visit him if he is an NPC or a boss. Imagine if Agent Jones had his own POI in some sort of faction type battle. He had the IO guards there and then maybe on the other side of the map we suspect that the Seven might have their own POI with their robots as well. You could also go and talk to them in their POI maybe or you could even trade weapons with them or even challenge them for an exotic weapon or something similar like that. I do suspect that might be the thing. You may even have to wear a certain suit or be in a certain faction to land at that POI. Now this is all coming from the top of my head. This is not confirmed but imagine if you had to choose between four factions obviously the four claws which we've been talking about yellow, uh, purple, red, green or whatever the colours were, four different colours four different factions and whichever faction you are you can safely land at that POI and not get eliminated by the bots but if you aren't part of that faction then the NPCs around there will fight you and eliminate you. Imagine that as a mechanic for the NPCs I think that would be pretty cool and pretty nice and obviously each one would be quite unique as well to say if you were part of Jonesy's team you'd be able to talk to him and trade different stuff whereas if you were part of the IO, not IO, sorry, the 7 you may be able to talk and trade different stuff there but if you weren't you'd have to like infiltrate the base and obviously gain access to the loot if you wanted to but other players there would gain an advantage so again it would give you a little bit of a competitive advantage but it'll also decide where you want to land I don't know, this is all coming from the top of my head this is the sort of vibe I'm getting from it with all the different changes in the NPCs and stuff I do think they are trying to develop NPCs further and I think that's a great idea what I've just made mentioned i've not heard anyone say anything like that in the past so epic if you're watching the video just add it in <laughs> they're probably not watching but you know you never know with these sort of things it's a great idea and it could possibly 
be added in the future. So yeah, that's a quite a nice little idea for you guys. Also, a side topic as well. We know that uh, Fortnite have actually, or Epic have acquired Fall Guys now as one of their game studios to actually partner up with Epic Games. It's officially owned by them now. So you can see they're also tweeting stuff out, which is pretty cool and a really nice reference to the seven. This is a tweet from Fall Guys. Here's one of the seven new levels from season four. And you can see here as well. I actually can't wait to play some Fall Guys on stream and stuff when it comes to Xbox. I know I can get it on PC and stuff on the Epic Store when it's available or not. I'm not too sure if it's available now but i'm excited for it to see where it's going to go in the future with the fortnite collabs and i'm guessing we'll suspect a huge collaboration with four guys very very soon where the two games do tie in and you will get some skins in both hopefully a little bit like we saw with the rocket league one which i can't wait to cover on the channel that should be very very not very soon it'll probably be mid season six i suspect or even season seven but i'll keep you updated on that if anything does happen on the lines of that and finally one of the concepts in today's video which i wanted to put in was from onslaught is cool this is a really cool concept and again two really nice skins right here uh, onslaught's done a great job at some concepts in the past and been in a few videos so shout out to them you can see it here on screen really nice concept and i really do like it maybe a season six skin probably not but you know it's cool to always feature artists if you've got any art you've created yourself let me know on twitter tweet me on postbox pat i'll add it in these videos and i want to thank once again manscape for sponsoring today's video if you are interested in any of these products go into the description click their link and go and check them out guys for yourselves there's some super awesome stuff over there you're not going to want to miss it you can also get you 20 percent off as well so make sure you check them down below in the description all sponsors do go a long way in the channel to help support further so thank you so much once again manscape and yeah go and show them some love go and show them support press that link and thank you everyone supporting the channel recently you guys absolutely rock so yeah subscribe notifications on smash the like comment down below your theories for season six and i'll see you guys in another video once again this is postbox pat signing out